Because we're, we're saying so many good things, and none of it is getting into the episode. Oh! Okay. Hello, friends. And Hello. welcome to the channel. I'm Handykin, and today I am joined with... Nightlore! Nightlore! For... Oh my gosh! It's bigger than the screen. <laughs> it's not supposed to... It's not supposed... They're not... You're not supposed to see her arms. Well, there they are. You're... They're... They're, they're popping off the screen. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't sync up the audio. Shoot. Um, um clap on. Clap on. <laughs> there you go. Now you're synced. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that how it is? You're just supposed to clap. That's how Jack Septicai does it. The way I do it is I lean over to the camera. I don't. I normally cut this out. I don't do a hard open. But we've been talking and none of it has been getting into the episode. We've been <sighs> saying good stuff. But normally I do it as three, two, one. And then the minimizing is what I use to sync it up. So three, two, one. And then I do one that's very quick. Three, two, one. Actually, Hello, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. Um, we're at the school, so if you're wondering why the room is echoey, it's because this is a classroom full of echo magic. It's a special effect. Yes, it's it's magic. It's 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 Huni Pop magic. I don't care. Nightlore says that it's pronounced Honey Pop. This is I, I also say who I say Huni, um, but I am corrected constantly that it's Honey Pop. It's the English language. However, you pronounce the words is correct because it's so stupid. So we're both correct. It's Huni yes. Pop, Huni Pop, Honey Pop. Who cares? It's Pop. It's girls. Yes, it's anime goyles. Now, to preface this, normally on my channel I would not be playing. Um, a, 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 a spicy game, I guess you could you <laughs> could say. Because of everything going on with Kappa, we're gonna do it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hoot it about, and it doesn't matter because the Steam version is censored anyway. Oh, so nice. So there's no, you know, there's not too many bits. Well, I mean, this girl is already wearing much less than I would normally have <laughs> on the channel, so th th this is this is I mean, still don't going. Don't look at Iko, I guess. D don't look at her. I wasn't, and now you pointed her out. <laughs> But you know what? I I said that this channel technically I you know I labeled on YouTube that this channel wasn't made for kids. So sometimes we have to flex that and just make it true. You know what? I'm an adult. We can do adult things. I'm an adult and I deserve an adult glass. Yeah. <laughs> so welcome to Adult Pop. It's Candy Crush, but with girls. Do you want to just let the voice acting that has been done so professionally like play out or there's, did you want to voice act all the girls because they all do have voices and all their lines are voice acted i didn't know that so i saw markiplier play this and for a while like all the youtubers had been playing this game and i didn't watch any let's plays of it well i watched yeah. the first episode markiplier did years ago i don't remember much of it um but I was like, man, everyone loves this. I want us to check it out for myself, and maybe I'll play it one day. Oh, it's expensive. I won't play it. However, Nightlore has generously let me play the games on her Steam account. So now we have access to a whole bunch of games that we normally would never have been able to. So thank you, Nightlore and Nightlore's brother, who are the founder of the Anime Girl Feast. <laughs> So yeah, welcome to Hootie Pop. Yes, welcome to Hootie Pop. In the middle of Little Nightmares Month, because <laughs> it's it's February, and I'm I like to try and have one dating theme game and one horror game for February. So we're doing our, our dating theme quota, and I'm also gonna try and make this less censored than some of the other episodes. Plus, it also helps with making it easier for editing. Anyway, again, because. It's episode zero, or maybe yes. it'll be episode one. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? I, I usually choose that right before I'm about to render the episode. If it's too much talking beforehand, then I'll just say, let's skip it, or you can skip this episode, I'll just make it episode zero. There um, you go. Back when Pokemon Shuffle first came out on the 3DS, um, I had been one of the top players in North America. I was in like the top 40,000 some odd. I was getting like all of the Mega Stones, a whole bunch of the enhancement candies. All the good stuff. I was one of the best, at least in the top 100,000 in the world, if not uh, definitely the top 40,000 in North America. This one, you get to move the bubbles around wherever you want to make the matches, which I love it so much more yeah. because it's it's so much more clever that way, and I love it. It's a little less luck-based because and more strategy-based. Yeah. So when I saw that was the gameplay, I was so stoked. A lot of people may be interested in this game for the plot. 
Uh, but I'm in it for the bubbles. Bubbles! I'm also in it for the bubbles and maybe a little bit of the plot. But the <laughs> bubbles! Um, so I was telling Handington before this that I have played through this game in its entirety three times. <laughs> So we have a resident and, expert. Yeah, I'm resident expert, but I'm going to be letting Handington play this, obviously. But, you know, I'm, I'm also here, I guess, <laughs> to, to admire my girls. I just genuinely like this game a lot. Um, I, lots I do of people like the seem gameplay. to. Yeah, I do, I do like the gameplay a lot, because you said it's not like Candy Crush. It's not like Well, I mean, anything is better ones. than Candy Crush, because King Digital is an evil tyrant. They, they tried to copyright Candy and Saga so that other people couldn't use it. What What monsters? And I mean, Cookie Cookie Pop, the Brave New the, the, the Pop Cookie co- Dev, Dev Sisters Match Three game <laughs> is already better because it's Dev Sisters, and they're a beautiful, wonderful company full of incredible, wonderful people. And so supporting them is already better. And I also just like Bejeweled because PopCap just seems to get the short end of the stick so often. They make yeah. incredible uh, game-changing games that change the industry. I mean, Plants vs Zombies. Uh, Peggle, um, the, the bookworm game. Yeah, the bookworm game. What's the bookworm game? I don't know, but that was the one game that my horrible metaphysics teacher actually loved to play, which I was just like, oh, sweet, he likes a PopCap game. I'm surprised, but also not surprised, because it's PopCap, and they, they rule. And now they're owned by EA, but they still they still rule even under EA. They donated, like, $50,000 to Team Trees, Oh. From the Plants vs. Zombies team in the in the spirit of Festivus, oh. which is so awesome, and it's just like, gosh darn it, EA, you did something super amazing, and then they also made that really awesome like Dark Souls esque Star Wars game to make up for how bad the second Star Wars Battlefront two game was, and it's just like, see, this is why EA they're they're a necessary evil because they're <laughs> evil, but they also do good. Anyway, anime goyles. Yes, how much do you know about each of these anime girls? Do you know, do you want to make some assumptions? Oh, oh, yes, that'll be fun. All right, so this is Princess Jasmine. Sure. <laughs> this is Leppy the Leopard. She used to be a leopard, and then she wished to be a real girl, and now she's, now she's a leopard yeah. lady. Mm-hmm. This is the nostalgia critic in female form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. This is... This is pink-haired girl. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is um Bonnabelle the blue bonnet. Oh. She, she, yeah, what does she do? She blues it up using her magical powers of the rain. She Oh wow, yeah. She she can summon rainstorms with a single uh blow well, I can't on her how ocarina. Accurate you are right now. It's crazy. <laughs> um <laughs> I'm still not sure what she is. <laughs> Girl next door, girl meets sure. world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your 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 girl Mick Mick Spunkington. Yeah, M- she, M- M- Mrs. Mick Pleasant. You are fifties style time traveler. Yeah. Okay. You are jerky Mick jerk pants. Yeah. And then you are Nicki Minaj. <laughs> there we go. And that's all the that's the girls. I can say you got one <laughs> accurate. You got one description accurate. How? <laughs> and I won't tell you which one it was, but you got one of them right. And maybe you'll find out which one as you play. <laughs> so you want to go she meet some girls? Become a leopard? I'm not gonna tell you which one it was. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that means I have to assume all of them are correct. <laughs> well, no. You have one correct, and the others are. <laughs> Horribly incorrect. <laughs> Success. <laughs> but uh, until- well, I guess like Princess Jasmine isn't far off. She's not a princess, but, but she stuff is Jasmine. Like that like ooh, ooh, I'm like yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what my favorites are. Uh, this one's my favorite. Oh. That one, she, princess Princess Jasmine is is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rain Girl, according to you, is also she's okay. Song of Storms. So- Song of Storms is all right, and then um. Oh, we're not recording on my normal cups, so I hope that you're able to hear the audio. Oh yes, I, that that makes sense. If you're if you, I record my audio by putting my phone on top of a cup from my orthodontist that I got. Um, I forgot to bring it, so we're recording it on. Uh, it won't show up very well. We're recording it on top of a charger and a bunch of tissues. <laughs> 
Uh, and then uh, Nostalgia Critic is also... Like in that order, Jasmine, Nostalgia Critic, Rain Girl <laughs> are my favorite. Um, <laughs> what, what, a, what a cast of characters. <laughs> Come on, let's go meet them. Rain, I'm so excited. Rain Girl, the nostalgia critic, and Princess Jasmine walk into a bar. <laughs> and they see me. <laughs> All, All right. right. Come on, Hoonie Pop. Click. So, Ooh, no uh, data. You get to pick your favorite spot. Start as a male or, or a female. female. Oh, let's do female so I can name I can name her Holly. Sure. Well, we, we're, we, we're okay with the gay. Oh, look. To, oh, they're, they're still in the still... background. They still exist. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad they're gone. Oh, it doesn't. That was a little creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh, the stuff that's supposed to. Oh, they yeah, do. What they, is happening? They do have speech. This game was, I think, made for a different window. All right, so I'm gonna keep this zoomed out so you can actually see what the screen looks like because whatever this thing, I think it's supposed to be the options menu. It's cut. So normally the game would, the, you're supposed to have the game cropped out so that this way it follows, oh, and the background is shifting. Oh, no. So, like, <laughs> it's supposed to be cropped so Wait, that you don't you? see the outside of this. This is what the actual game window is like, because when you're coding a game, like, assets will be off screen, and this stuff on the side is cut cut out. Maybe so this you is can left, this change is kept, the settings? Uh, maybe, but I don't know. I it's escape. It, I don't want to lose this. This is awesome. Oh, all right. Well, then we'll keep it. <laughs> and behind a, the scenes. <laughs> yes, it is behind the scenes. In development, in order to make sure that this doesn't have to load up to save loading time, they, they, must, they must have kept the, the menu screen on the side so that they just scroll Ooh. it in and out. But it's out of the way so that you don't see it. Uh, I'm working on game development so that I know about this kind of behind the scenes stuff. So it's so cool. Oh, look, this is blue. I think this is supposed to be where the edge of the screen is. I and it's supposed to so. shake back and forth, so you're not supposed to see where the screen is cut out here, or this, the edge of her dress. Yeah, because uh, the background kind of follows your mouse a little bit. Like, if you move left to right, that's why it's moving. Oh! It's supposed to be like you're, you're looking around. That's so clever. Except they, they, <laughs> Except they, they, they messed up. Except the window size is odd. <laughs> yes, and I think the bottom is cut off a bit, too. Because it, it looked like it said click to start on the bottom, but it was cut off by the bottom yeah, window here. Yeah, we might here. have to change the window size. I could, but it's not letting me maximize it, it at all. Escape. I don't want to. I like it this way. If we open up the game again, if we come back to replay it in the future, then right, then we'll we can do it. it. Th this but is special. Now. This makes our Let's Play a special Let's Play. Right, a behind-the-scenes Let's Play. So, yeah. All anyway, right, this so. lovely lady has approached you. Oh, we're starting the dating already. Sunday night, and it won't be long till we kick our hands and we play that song. It's Sunday night. I'm going to kick my hand. It's, it's that song that's like, <laughs> on the dance floor, on the dance floor, something, something, something. Guglielmo, how about the part of that song? I don't know what you're talking about. It's that song. I, they play it on the radio like every time you want the radio. I don't need some. Whatever that song is. You've lost me, and I'm the jukebox. <laughs> I know all the songs. I, I, I'm trying to fill their lives with joy. Then you should stop singing right now. I, well, Holly, put it in. <laughs> Holly, look at the name of the song. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's make this episode zero. Let's just cut it here. All right. Yeah. So that's it, friends. If you like what we do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. In the next episode, we'll begin. We'll begin talking to this lovely, mysterious lady who Ooh. wasn't on the front. Th oh, that's right. She wasn't. Ooh. Ooh. You're like Bing Bong from Inside Out. You're going to die a horrible fate. And you weren't on the front. <laughs> no one knew we would love you so much, and yet you made me cry both times I saw it. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, friends. Sorry for spoiling Inside Out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>